Hello there, internet dwellers. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are reacting to an analog horror that was recommended to me on my Discord. This was recommended to me by Tabord Boy. Today, we're reacting to an analog horror called Little Red Riding Hood by Foxymations. This is obviously based off of the fairy tale, or is it, is it a fairy tale? Is it really? It's a, it's a tale. It, yeah, it's a fairy tale. And obviously, in Red Riding Hood, the, the wolf dresses up like the nan or the grandma and i don't know what happens obviously the, the in like the the friendly version the i don't think the grandma dies i think it's just i don't know knocked out or something and then the wolf tries to eat red riding hood but then i think like a lumberjack comes along and like kills the wolf or something in the original i believe that the wolf eats both the grandma and little red riding hood uh, which is uh pretty grim. So this video was done by Foxymations, and as you can see, they were primarily a FNAF channel. Not getting a lot of views, unfortunately, but then this one kind of took off for them, so maybe they're going to go in a different direction. Sometimes that's how it happens, you know? You, you don't realise something's going to take off for you like me with the Thomas the Tank Engine horror stuff. I wasn't expecting that to do well at all. It was just a recommendation from a friend, and then... It just kind of took off, I guess. But I don't want to kind of piggyback on what, what works well and just be doing content for the sake of it. I was going to be doing Sodor Fallout, but I kind of watched it and I was like, this really isn't for me. I don't really understand what's going on. People are just going to get mad at me for not understanding the characters. I'd rather just do stuff that I can understand and like not for the sake of just getting views. I don't want to be that person who does stuff for the sake of views. So I want to do stuff that I actually genuinely enjoy. And it's stuff like this. So anyway, less of the rambling. We're going to jump straight into this. So if you guys enjoy, be sure to go check out Foxy Mations. The link will be in the description down below. Go give them some support, like the video, subscribe. Watch it at the same time as me in a muted tab if you wish to give them that watch time. It is up to you, but go support the original creator, please. Without them, I would be nothing. Here we go then, guys. Little Red Riding Hood Analog Horror. The fluff on my mic has gone again. So I don't know where it's actually gone. So you might hear some... Foxymations presents. So, from what I saw in the description, um, this was the art style is heavily inspired by the the Walton Files, and I feel like fairy tales. I'm oh, sorry to ramble here, guys, but it's pow what I do, you know. Um, I feel like fairy tales and stuff like that are a great kind of source material for horror stuff especially like analog horrors, because you'll find that the actual origins of the fairy tales are a lot more grim than what is presented nowadays. So I think it's really cool. Like the ugly duckling was another one. Is that meant to be the moon there? That is horrifying. That's like Majora's Mask Moon's cousin. Hey, honey, I have some bad news about your grandma. Oh, God. She is sick and needs you to take this basket of candies to her. Candies? You're trying to give your nan diabetes? And again, they deserve a treat. Oh no, Grandma is sick? And how am I going to take a, a basket of candies at this hour? Yeah, what hour is it? I don't know, but she needs you to take her. She's very sick. Why don't you take it? You're asking your daughter, who's very young, to go out in the middle of the night. Okay, Mum, I'll take it to her. Where's the basket? My God. The basket's on the table. You can take it. That grandma is going to get a poorly tummy eating all that. You at least got her some, like, healthy foods. I feel like that's going to make her more sick. The immune system's going to be crying at you. Be careful, daughter. And under no circumstances, talk to strangers. I, this is what is happening right now. Let me just turn this light on here. Okay, mom. Here we go. And off she goes. What? Like, this is crazy. Oh my god, it's very dark out here. That mum does not care for her daughter. Sending her out at this time. Maybe it was just a different era. I need to hurry before something happens to Grandma. Oh, okay. Is that her... What is that? Her walking along? Uh-oh. Oh, good lord. It's Freddy Fazbear. What's this? Dead animals?
Oh my god, it literally is. It's FNAF. Freddy's dead. It's Golden Freddy. Stop it, Ryan. Oh my god, this literally looks like... I'm not even joking now. That, that looks like Bonnie. Is that he meant to be... It. You need to run. Get out of here as fast as you can. Go now. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, good lord. Well, there's another one, actually. Gingerbread. The Gingerbread Man. Imagine that as an analog horror. Whoa! Come to think about it, fa don't talk to strangers. And, uh, like, fairy tales really do lend themselves well to horrors because it can be really misinterpreted. And I feel like the innocence of something being corrupted makes something horrific, for sure. Uh-oh. Don't talk to strangers. That's what happens, guys. Why is that wolf wearing overalls? Now, is the wolf meant to represent a predator? I mean, because a wolf is a predator. Get out. Hello, beautiful. What are you doing here at this forest at this time? Yeah, ask my mum, mate. Like, ask her. She obviously doesn't care for me. Who are you? You know what's interesting about this is that this wolf is speaking English, but the, the main character who's meant to be a human just speaks in text bubbles. Where are you going, little girl? Bro, kick that wolf in the balls. I would be amazed that I was talking to a wolf, in honesty. My mother told me not to talk to strangers. But you can trust me. I'm your new friend now. Tell me. Where are you going, little girl? Bro, he turned into Nicolas Cage from that one movie. You know what I'm talking about? I'm just going to my grandma's house. She's sick and needs me. That was, a, that was a dumb move. Jeez, I just got flashbanged. Oh my god. What? Yeah, shit. I'll take care of grandma. You get there and he's like giving her a, a kiss on the forehead and to put a pet in her, petting her in, tucking her in. Trust me, trust. Trust me. Granny's house. I love how they, she's got a neon sign above the house that says Granny's house. Just so you know. Oh dear. Uh, that wolf is bigger than the freaking house. It must be a dire wolf. knocking on my door at this hour. Fuck off. I hope it's my granddaughter bringing me candy. You know, you guys are irresponsible. Sending a little girl out in the middle of the night to give you candy. Who's there? Fuck off. I need to stop saying that. It's your granddaughter, Grandma. Very deep voice for a, a little girl, but... Oh. Oh, good lord. Oh. Don't come here. Don't come here. Oh, bloody hell. She's dead. He will find you. I mean, he already found her once. Oh, a bit of found footage. Interesting. I need to hurry before something happens to my grandma. That wolf was scary. Where did he go? I mean, he did say where he was going. Uh -oh. That's his 
nuked goods. Oh, look, you see the wolf behind her. Don't look back. So that's right behind what we're looking at right now. Oh, what was that? Why would you look back? Don't rush, little girl. Things have already happened. There is no salvation for her. Oh, yeah. Granny lives in a freaking shed. I finally arrived at Grandma's house. I can hide from that wolf here with her. But why is the door open? Why is Grandma's house so dark? What is wrong with you? Are you not putting two and two together? Where's Grandma? Oh, you're about to meet Grandma in the freaking afterlife. Oh my god, that is a big wolf. I need to hide before that thing finds me. I hope Grandma is behind that door. Hey, Granny, I brought you a basket of sweets. Where are you? gonna have like half a head missing. Come closer. Come closer. Turned into Gabriel. Come closer. Come closer. Come closer. Come closer. Come closer. Come closer. That's pretty just oh my god. What happened to Granny? This isn't good. Your brain is gone. Now it's your turn. <laughs> you cannot escape. Oh my god, okay. Well, you can't hide from his mum. What? He will find you. His mum? Oh god, is the mum going to die now? Oh dear. He's hunted down the whole freaking... The whole freaking family. All because Granny wanted some sweets. At like 2 o'clock in the morning. Three people have died now. That's insane. Oh, hang on. What's this? These things already exist in the world anyway. I know they do. I don't know what you're talking about, but how? yeah. Go check that video out, guys. Well, there we go, guys. That was Foxy Mations with the Little Red Riding Hood analog horror. The takeouts from that are, what was the mum thinking in the first place? What time was it originally? I mean, it, to be fair, that could be 6 p.m. during winter, for all we know. But I'm assuming she said at the very start, it's late out. Why... You know, why are you sending me? I don't think she said that, but I'm saying that. Why are you sending a little girl out into the woods where there are predators wanting to do harm? It's the whole freaking being stuck out in the woods. Or would you rather be stuck out in the woods with a man or a wolf at this point? I'm, I'm choosing neither. I was staying inside. Fuck granny. <laughs> no, seriously though, why, why did she do that? Why did she send her daughter out? That is a very irresponsible mum. She was drinking the wine. She was on the wine. She couldn't be bothered to do it herself. She's like, oh, fuck you. I didn't love her anyway. Go on, go on. Out you go. Granny's wanting you. I did enjoy that though. It was very Walton Files-esque, but done in your own kind of style. I like that. It was a mixture of like the Animal Crossing slash the Walton Files kind of animation art style. I thought that was awesome. 
I like the the, um, the fact that the wolf was speaking and everyone else was talking in like an animal crossing language. I thought that was pretty interesting. But yeah, three people died because Granny wanted some sweets. I mean, I would say she has to live with that, but she's dead. So it's one of those things. I, I did enjoy that though. That was awesome. I, I love, I love like this kind of theme of fairy tales being turned into like an analog horror. Like, there was the, the, the ugly duckling, right? I think we reacted to that one. And that was really freaking cool. Although that wasn't really analog horror. That was more just, I mean, just horror in general. You know, it doesn't have to be analog horror. Because I think it lends itself well to horror. Um, especially like the origin stories or like what the original tales were. Uh, obviously, they had to repurpose those tales because they're not very family friendly and they're pretty gruesome, in honesty. But I really did enjoy that. So guys, go check out Foximations. The link will be down in the description. Go like the video, go show your support, leave a nice comment, all that good stuff. And if you enjoyed my reaction, why not consider subscribing if you're not already, as this is the majority of my content, reacting to analog horrors, spooky videos, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.